Day number 27. Uh, good start to the day so far. I'm not still in bed. It's about noon right now. I'm back in bed just because I hopped in here to do a little stretching after uh, a little stretching yoga routine. Stood, biked, saunaed, um, did a quite a bit of insurance work stuff, used the bathroom, showered, and then just hit a stretch uh, session for 15, 20 minutes. And it was awesome. I can't, I have to get back into regular morning yoga. It's probably, it's probably the most important thing that I need to do, mostly because my hip flexors, my hip flexors are just so tight and I think when you're paralyzed the shortening of the hip flexors is like the catalyst for I mean at least when you're paraplegic I'm sure maybe when you're quadriplegic as well but that shortening of the hip flexors is like the catalyst for all of the other structural issues that I have with my back my abdominal strength and everything because those if you think about you know Let's say, I don't know, how am I going to do this? But those, I don't know how to demonstrate with my, I, maybe I can't demonstrate with my hand. But you're sitting in a C-shaped position. You're supposed to imagine my thumb can go straight down. And those hip flexors are just shortening all the time. And then that pull is pulling the bottom inside of your spine kind of in and downwards. And I think that is probably the main reason that I personally have these herniated discs. It's just a theory. It'd be great to have input from a medical professional, but I just haven't found one that really wants to take the time and figure out what the fuck's going on and teach me how to fix it without like some whatever treatment it is they sell. Like, chiropractor wants you to go to chiropractic five times a week for eight weeks and like maybe it would help but I think I need exercises and like strategic strengthening of certain muscles to pull everything into place the way that it that it needs to be and I would love some you know professional input I go to physical therapy but they're not actually I guess physical therapists they're uh, physical trainers personal trainers basically with a specialty specialty in neurology. Um, they're amazing and awesome, but um, I just don't, they, I, I haven't gotten the full insight of how to, you know, fix a herniated disc and maybe they just don't know. Maybe I just haven't spent enough time well, with the right trainers specifically on that, but that's definitely going to be a goal over the next, um, few months is kind of siphon all the knowledge that they have out of them into my brain so I can apply it to yeah fixing the lower back it's my number one physical issue right now makes fucks my sleep up anyone who saw the vlog yesterday um you know that I saunaed at the end of that vlog right before I went to bed not a great idea felt great fell asleep super fast but uh, woke up with uh, like a crushing, a crushing headache at like three in the morning. I don't know if I was just super dehydrated. I woke up to pee a couple times, but then when I woke up uh, later in the morning, I just had a gnarly headache. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's the little update um, for the start of the morning. Not really sure what the day is going to bring. Just going to work casually, organize some stuff. And then I'm going to pause um, every couple hours and just do long stretching sessions. I really am feeling the consequences of going and sitting eight, nine hours a day at work and just not having the time to do forward stretch, like stretch the front of my body. Because I every time I sauna, I stretch the hamstrings, I stand stretch the whole posterior chain, you know, bend over and touch my toes in my standing wheelchair. And I get that posterior chain stretch, but what I really need to stretch is the the front of my body. I need to open it up backwards. You know, my spine is curving forwards. I need to open that 
all up so it's shaped like a spine supposed to be shaped right now my spine is literally if you look at an mri it is literally shaped like this imagine my knuckles are t10 where um my spine broke my spinal column was the most damaged uh that's where my level of injury is and yeah it's literally shaped like this so just want to do a combination of things but you know open up all those muscles in the front so that um it's able to move backwards and then strengthen the shit out of my back muscles so it just pulls my spinal column into a nice alignment eventually it's going to be obviously impossible to uh, you know make it even close to perfect not just with the damage that's done but just with so much sitting like unless i can do something with my life where i'm able to do like six hours a day of standing walking physical therapy just don't even imagine how that would be um possible it'd be awesome if it was but yeah without that it's just going to be really hard you're just not meant to be sitting um for 8 10 9 12 16 hours a day so we're going to do as little of sitting as possible much standing as possible today as much stretching as possible and yep yeah, that's the that's the start of that don't know where we're going to end up next but um could be anywhere i don't think i'm actually going to hit a gnarly back workout today like i planned hopefully going to do that after surfing tomorrow i'm just gonna uh rest today and stretch and chill and just be and go to bed super early so i can wake up i'm gonna wake up at like 4 30 in the morning use the bathroom stretch stand just to get completely limber and primed up for a really good surf tomorrow the waves are looking phenomenal and i want to get out there and you know dawn patrol i don't want to be showing up at eight nine o'clock in the morning when the waves are dying down i want to get there at like 6 37 beautiful sunrise little yoga on the beach uh yeah, it's going to be fucking awesome. So chill day today, but we'll see. We might, we could, could be anywhere next. Day number 27 begins and ends in the bed because I didn't really do much of anything today and definitely nothing um, worth filming, editing, and putting onto YouTube. Just had a chill day and, uh, yeah, I spent, I spent like an hour and a half stretching, took a nap, did a little bit of insurance stuff, ate some dinner with the girl, and that's about it. Can't even think of, yeah, nothing else at all. So, gonna go to bed super early tonight, actually in bed at, what time is it, 9 p.m.? Like, almost 10. Damn it. Almost 10, but earlier than usual oh and it was 9 15 9 15 there we go so way earlier than usual and gonna try to get up at 4 a.m tomorrow and leave for surfing by at the absolute latest uh 6 30 but try to leave here at like 5 45 we'll see depends how long it takes me to get ready but good night day 27 in the books and I will see you at or on the way to beach tomorrow, whoever you are.